as a survivor of violence, do you think there's enough awareness around the early signs of abusive behavior? No, I don't think that there is mm -hmm. enough awareness. Um, I think if if we knew more about what we should be looking for, right. many of us would get out of those situations well ahead of time. So some, what are some of the signs that you may have missed and what would you do differently now that you've moved past this? Oh, well, the, the definite Jekyll and Hyde thing. Mm -hmm. I missed that completely. Mm -hmm. I thought he was just a little bit moody. You know, I, because As we I all loved are him. sometimes. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I loved him and I thought, oh, he's just a little bit moody, but I never knew what mood he would come home with or leave with in the day. and. And I wish I had been smart enough to understand that, but I did not know it at the time. Mm -hmm. uh, the moodiness, the picking, uh, the love bombing. Right. Because I had never experienced anything like that in my life. Right. I was not a very, and I still am not, a, I don't consider myself a sexy person. Mm -hmm. um, but he made you feel sexy. Okay. Yeah. This was the very first man that ever called me gorgeous. Well, you are gorgeous. So. Um, oh, thanks, babe. But at the time, I was real skin and bones and I was always dressing in these really baggy clothes and I thought nobody thought I was cute so for him to kind of show that to me I wish I had seen it was like too much love in a short space of time right and I thought that was what it should look like but no that's a sign that something is wrong there so do you believe that if you had known about this earlier mm -hmm. i mean i'm assuming that you would not have obviously moved forward with the relationship oh, but is not. there one particular thing that you could have missed or may have missed at the beginning uh, definitely the lies i didn't realize that there was so much deception there mm -hmm. like he would say something or i would ask a question and then he would ask me a question instead of answering my question mm. for example i would say have you ever been married that was a question i asked him. he said you see any signs that I've ever been married? Right. He question never answered the question. the question. Right. You know, there was just a lot of deception there. So what gave you the strength to say that this is enough and the strength to move on and, and to come back again? We just want a, a little bit about, sure. you know, your, your start at the HJ because I know yes. that's, that was very instrumental in, in getting you back again. Absolutely. And restoring my soul, too. Right. Um, was finding a job that I absolutely loved. But... The minute I saw the way he looked at me that day, and I, I sort of felt that in him choking me, he wasn't just trying to choke the breath out of me, but he was choking the love out of me. Mm. I feel like in that moment, I had zero love for him anymore. Let's talk about other people and what we think, or how we think we can help them. Right. So what actions can people take in their own lives to create a safer society for women and girls? Um, there's so many things that we could do. One is educating girls and women and ensuring that they get the education that they need. Mm -hmm. Um, and another thing is also helping women financially. Yes. Not just financial to, independence. Yes. I mean, and, I'm, I'm assuming yes. that's where you're going. Yes, okay. Five. There you yes. go. <laughs> so what I mean by that is I feel as though it's, if we allow more women to become business owners so that they can take care of themselves, trust me, they will take care of everyone around them. And it's not just being a business owner. It's right. just about, you know, having a stable or yes. a job that's, you know, that offers stability. Absolutely. A job that offers you independence. So is there anything else you'd like to add today before we oh, conclude wow. our first with her discussion? As women, we need to support each other more. Definitely. Stop the pulling down of each other and Preach. support each other and be there as if you see something going wrong that you can say, you know what, probably I can guide her in this area. Mm -hmm. Do that instead of sitting there and talking about the person. We can always help each other. To find out more about the culture change commitment and what you can do in your own life and industry to end violence against women and girls, go to spotlightinitiative.org slash get involved right here on your screen. Until next time, this has been my first With Her Talk. Thank you guys, take care.